5 Cartier pieces that are worth the investment. Welcome to Luxfy, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing 5 Cartier pieces that are worth the investment. Cartier is a French luxury goods conglomerate which designs, manufactures, distributes and sells jewelry and watches. Founded by Louis-François Cartier in Paris in 1847, the company remained under family control until 1964, when it was bought by the Richmond Group. Cartier operates more than 200 stores in 125 countries, with three historical Amazons in London, New York and Paris. Cartier is regarded as one of the most prestigious jewelry manufacturers in the world. Cartier is considered the jeweler of kings and the king of jewelers. It was a jeweler of choice among royalty, celebrities and tycoons, and until this day continues to attract the attention of jewelry lovers around the world. Here on this video, I'll show you 5 Cartier pieces that are worth the investment. You not only will love these pieces, but if you want to, you will be able to sell them for a great price in the secondary market. At the end of the video, there is a bonus fact about the most famous Cartier jewelry of all time. So without further ado, here are 5 Cartier pieces that are worth the investment. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxficom. Number 5. Trinity Pendant Necklace If you are looking for something other than a piece from the love or the Just Unclo collections, the Trinity Pendant Necklace is another worthwhile investment. Initially designed in 1924 as a ring with three intertwining metals, today the Trinity collection is one of the most important Cartier collections. It was designed by Jean Cacotou, the French writer, painter, filmmaker and poet, who was a great friend of Louis Cartier. The simplicity of the three interlocking rings, each of a different gold color, quickly became a classic. It seemed appropriate that this ring, which supposedly symbolized friendship, fidelity and love, should be a favorite among jewelry collectors. It is also to be noted that the technicality of the Trinity models, as simple as it may look, is an incredible achievement, allowing the three bands to slide smoothly over the skin. The simple elegance of the collection is a true testament to the Amazon's timelessness. The pendant version of the Trinity ring holds 87% of its primary market value at resale, according to Rebag. A new one is sold for $3,100. Number 4. Justin Clo Ring When the Justin Clo bracelet was created in 1971 at Cartier, New York, it was known as the Nail Bracelet. The bracelet returned in the 2010s, when its pure lines earned it the name Justin Clo. Today the collection exists in yellow gold, rose gold and white gold, in both paved and non-paved versions. It also incorporates rings, brooches, necklaces and pendant earrings. Prefer rings over bracelets? Tipulo's Cartier Justin Clos ring takes the same idea as the bracelet, turning it into a minimal ring with a hard edge. This piece from the Cartier Justin Clos collection holds its weight on the secondary market, with an average retention value of 94% at resale, according to Rebag. A new one is sold for $2,500. Number 3. Love for Diamond Bracelet Diamonds make everything better, especially in terms of investment. The iconic love bracelet has been a symbol of free-spirited love since 1969. Its screw motif and famous locking technology are truly timeless design signatures, while its oval shape ensures a close but comfortable fit to the wearer's wrist. The locking mechanism consists of two functional screws found on each side of the bracelet. Each love bracelet is sold with a matching screwdriver specifically created for this piece. You will need the help of a partner to secure your bracelet correctly. This bracelet is made with 18 karat yellow gold and set with 4 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.42 carats. The Cartier Love for Diamond bracelet holds about 95% of its original value, according to Rebag. A new one is sold for $11,000. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 2. Justin Clo Bracelet In the 1970s, the New York-based designer Aldo Cipullo followed the success of the Cartier Love Bracelet with another piece of jewelry inspired by everyday hardware, the Justin Clo Bracelet, which translates to just a nail. 
Dust and Claw combines the functional inspiration of the Dada art movement with the audacious essence of 70s New York. Relaunched in 2012, it instantly imbued today's modern spirit with its striking nail-inspired silhouette and pure lines. Available in a multitude of gold and diamond adorned variations, this style touches everything from classic bracelets and rings to eccentric cufflinks and tie pins. Justin Clo breaks through conventions with its unapologetic minimalism, asserting the essence of its wearer. The Justin Clo bracelet is a great investment, carrying 101% of its primary market value at resale, according to Reback. A new one is sold for $7,500. Number 1. Love Bracelet The original and classic love bracelet is the best investment you could make at Cartier. Italian jewelry designer Aldo Cipullo created the Cartier Love Bracelet in the Cartier New York workshops in 1969. Love symbols should suggest an everlasting quality, the designer said. Love is the ultimate expression of Cartier's design vision. Perfect clean lines and precise proportions meet in an oval bracelet formed of two rigid arcs that must be screwed together using a special matching screwdriver. With its unique locking mechanism, it shows that love should not be taken lightly. When the bracelet was first launched, rumor has it that Cartier gave pairs of them to some of the most famous couples of the 20th century, including the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, Ellie McGraw and Steve McQueen, and Sophia Loren and Carlo Ponti. It is also rumored that Cartier once prohibited customers from buying love bracelets for themselves, with a policy stating that they could only be purchased by a couple. A symbol as strong as the eternity ring itself, the love bracelet has been, for more than 40 years, a token of love and attachment. According to Rebag, the now iconic Cartier love bracelet holds 102% of its retail value on the resale market, making it a must-have Cartier piece. A new one is sold for $6,900. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. Elizabeth Taylor's Cartier Diamond Necklace is the most famous Cartier jewel. This 69.42 carat diamond is perhaps the most impressive jewelry in Cartier's history. It was given to the actress Elizabeth Taylor by her twice-husband Richard Burton, with the diamond alone reportedly costing the actor over a million dollars, at 1969 prices. Taylor wore the necklace at the 1970s Oscars, when she presented the award for Best Picture. After her second divorce from Burton, Taylor sold the diamond in June 1979 for around $3 million, using some of the proceeds to fund the construction of a hospital in Botswana. During her life, she has stated her regret in selling the diamond, but she probably did so because the insurance policy was prohibited about how often she could wear it and how she needed to be attended by armed guards when she did so. The diamond's whereabouts are unknown today, but a stone that famous will likely resurface again. The beauty of this necklace is unmatched. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!